Well, hello, indie people. Now, today's video is going to be a review of the latest season of The A Word. So, yesterday was the last episode of season two, and today I just wanted to give my thoughts on the show, what I liked about the show, and lastly, I want to go into why I think The A Word is really good for autism awareness. Before we get into the review, there may be some spoilers, and if you're brand new around here, don't forget to hit subscribe down there for more autism content in the future. For those who don't know what The A Word is, it is a UK based family drama show and it's about a family who have an autistic son. The first season is really about the family coming to terms with the fact that Joe has autism and the first season for me was really good, I really enjoyed it. However, when it came to the second season, they really upped their game. It was so good, season two. I personally felt that season two was the A words Empire Strikes Back. Like they managed to top what they did in season one. The reason why I think season two was so good was because the acting was really on point. You know, when I was watching the characters, if it was a happy moment, I felt genuinely happy. When there was a sad moment, I felt for them, you know, I was engaged, really. I was really engaged with the emotions of the show, the emotions of the characters, what they were going through. The writing for the A Word I thought was really good, you know, I was engaged, like I say, in the story. I just thought generally the acting and the writing was just really on point. The main reason why I watched the A Word is for the autism side, and I've got to say, the BBC really do a fantastic job with the A Word. I think there's enough autism awareness and autism acceptance in the show, but they do it in such a way that it's not in your face. But when I was watching Atypical, for example, I felt a lot of the autism awareness and the facts about autism were really in your face, and I just didn't connect with it as well. But with the A word, they did it in such a way that it wasn't in your face, but you got the information in a really subtle way, but it was still noticeable, if that makes sense. I feel with season two, in terms of the autism acting and everything like that, I feel they've done, again, a really fantastic job. I mean, the young person that plays Joe, I think his name is Max. He doesn't have autism, he's not on the autistic spectrum. To me, if I didn't know that, for me personally, I wouldn't have been able to tell. For me, when I'm watching shows about autism, they have to be really believable. And for me, uh, Max, who plays Joe, does a really fantastic job. It's kind of weird, actually. He looks a lot like me when I was his age. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Even though I'm watching the A Word for the autism side, it's not all about Joe. They go into different story arcs, show us what all of the different characters are doing. So you have Morris, the dad Paul, and the mom Allison. I think the stories in this season have been really, really good and I found them to be really, really engaging. Also in season one, um, the dad Paul really understood what Joe was like and the mom Allison didn't really understand it. However, in season two, the roles have reversed. And for me, this was really good because in season one, I didn't really connect with Alison as much as I did Paul. In season two, we've got to see a different side to Alison, and I've just really been liking what I've been seeing. This is not to say I didn't like her character in season one, I just think it needed more development, and that's what the A Word have managed to do. They've managed to develop her character and do a bit of role reversal, which is I think it's worked out quite well. Also with this season we've got to see Joe exhibit more autistic behaviours, so we've got to see him uh, stimming, so rocking backwards and forwards. There was the whole scene in the car where his iPod didn't work, so I was going to put on the radio for him, and it ended up being Blossoms, who are an absolutely amazing band. Like that. That's another thing I'm going to have to get into. When the song finished on the radio, he wanted it to play again, like he wanted to hear it again, but obviously because it's a radio, that can't happen. And it kind of just shows how something so small like that can escalate a person with autism. I, I just think they did that sort of thing really well. Now one of my most memorable character engagements throughout the entire season 
was Morris and his love interest's son, Ralph. The chemistry that Morris and Ralph have is just fantastic to watch on screen. It was funny, it was humorous, it was just everything that I expect from a British drama slash comedy. It was really on point. I just loved that engagement. That was one of the standout moments for me in the A Word. The soundtrack for the A Word in season one was absolutely fantastic. It was my style of, it's my style of music. This year, they've just upped their game. I mean, they played Blossoms and I really like Blossoms. There was one episode where they opened up with the Stone Roses, She Bangs the Drum. And I was like, oh my god, I love this song so much. You know, the soundtrack in the A-Word is absolutely fantastic. You know, absolute kudos to the writers of the show and everything, you know. There was moments in the show as well where Alison and Paul, so the mum and dad, talked about difficulties of having a son on the spectrum or having concerns about what the future for him will be and I think for parents of autistic children I think it's a real prospect you know what is going to happen with my child in X amount of years time I think the A word did a really great job of having that discussion because it wasn't in your face but it was something to ponder. But it got me thinking about the future, and I think for drama, that's something that's important. You know, a drama is supposed to make you think, make you feel. And I just think the AWA did a really fantastic job. Also in season two, they introduced new characters, and for me, these have been really great additions to the show. There's one character in particular that I want to talk about, and that's the character of Mark. Mark in the show plays an autistic teenager. The actual actor is also a person with autism and this is something I have to praise the BBC, the A Word producers for. You know, it's it's a really fantastic thing that they've taken the time to find someone with ASD and put them in the show. The actor that played Mark did a really fantastic job and also having that comparison of Joe and Mark and showing how similar but different they are and this is something that I've been trying to advocate is that not everyone on the spectrum is the same we're all different people you know the fact that the A word has actually managed to do this I think is a really fantastic thing and I've just got to give them the highest praise you know that you know it was a really great decision and I'm a massive supporter of it. However, there's just one thing that I just didn't really like, to be honest, and that's the whole story with Paul nearly cheating on Alison with Mark's mum. I just didn't really think it was in his nature to do that. So when he nearly cheated on his wife, I felt itchy. <laughs> I just didn't like it and that was one of the negative things. However, that's the only thing I didn't like about the A word was just that story arc. Everything else they have done brilliantly. I loved it. I loved season two of the A word. It was just fantastic. Again, they shot in the Lake District, and I freaking love the Lake District. You know, it's not that far away from me. I freaking love the Lake District. <laughs> please, if anyone from the BBC is watching this, please, can you get someone to commission a season three for me? It would be fantastic. And I know a lot of other people would be really thankful as well. I love the show. I think it's one of the most brilliant autism awareness shows out there. I think it's just fantastic. The acting for me is fantastic. The autism awareness is absolutely fantastic. I just think it's fantastic. Uh, honestly guys, I can't recommend the A word enough. I just absolutely love it. And if you're into family dramas, you guys will absolutely love it. 
I keep saying this, I keep saying this, but it is absolutely fantastic and I can't recommend it enough, I really can't. And with that, that is the end of this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you go and check out the A Word. You know, like I say, it's really fantastic. And if there's any other autism shows, autism movies, anything like that that you want me to take a look at and review, Please let me know down below, it'd be really awesome to check out some new films, some new TV shows. And if you liked this video, give it a big old thumbs up, subscribe for brand new content from me, hit the little ringy bell thing down there so you can get notified, and all I've got to say now is stay you, stay indie, have a great day wherever you are, and I will see you all very soon. See you later guys.